Brokaw Hall was the first male dorm on campus and it was built in 1911. The reason why Samuel Plants wanted to build the first male dorm on campus was, well, because guys didn't have anywhere to stay unless they were part of a fraternity. So their academic lives centered around Lawrence, but their social lives centered in the town of Appleton. And as important as academics are to the college experience, the social experience is really what rounds it out and makes it full and complete. So Samuel Plants decided that he wanted to raise money and so what happened was he reached out to a woman named Mrs. Ormsby, who was the wife of David G. Ormsby, the man who endowed Ormsby Hall. And she gave $5,000 as kind of a way to kick off raising money for this uh, new dorm. Like a few days later, he got a call from Robert, a man named Robert Ingram, who was a Methodist minister, and said that he wanted to give $10,000, but have it named Wesley Hall, after a famous Methodist minister. Then, later, he received a letter from Kate Edmonds Brokaw, who was a trustee of Lawrence University, a local Appleton resident, and friend of Mrs. Ormsby. She said, I will donate $10,000, but I want it to be named Brokaw Hall. She was not aware of Mr. Ingram's gift. So, Samuel Plants had $25,000 sitting on his desk, but two names for the hall. So, he had no idea what to do. So, he thought, he thought, he thought, and then he went up to his friend, Robert Ingram, who Keep in mind, Samuel Plants himself was a Methodist minister and said, listen, I know you just gave money to donate, but we really need to pick one name for the hall. And I know you, and come on, Brokaw Hall kind of sounds a little better too. Flows off the tongue a lot nicer. So Samuel, Robert Ingram acquiesced and said, you know what? Fine, it can be named Brokaw Hall. It is a much cooler name and I'll keep my $10,000 donation. So with that and the $25,000, Samuel Plants was able to build Brokaw Hall and guys finally have a place to stay on campus.